back, friends. Get ready to laugh, cry, and have a blast. We're some more excitement right now. There's a new movie produced by CMU grad that's touring the festival circuit. I am so delighted to have Melanie Starks, the producer of Fluorescent Beast, joining me. Thank you for being here. How are you? Thank you for having me. This, I'm great. This is so exciting because you grew up in Mount Pleasant, CMU grad, and now your feature film, it's called Fluorescent Beast. What is it about? Cool so, title. I, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, what does that even mean? Yeah. And you look at the poster, you're <laughs> like, really, really, what does it mean? Um, so it is a surreal black comedy, mm. and you are on a journey with our everyman hero. Our actor is John T. Woods. He's wonderful. And he works the corporate sort of middle management job, pushing yeah. numbers, and he is sent on a mysterious business trip. And even he doesn't know what the business trip oh. is about. And so it's a mystery in terms of that. Yes. And he, he goes on this trip and meets somebody else, and they're both actually aspiring artists as well as business people really and so yeah that's okay so is there like a message that you're that you want to get out or you're trying yeah, to train? I think yeah. I think part of it is like how do we as people we yeah. have our front-facing side yes. we have our professional side our family side that's and right. then we have our artist or our love of hobby or yeah. whatever that that we push down a lot and how do we how do we protect that and keep that as I well? So that's part of it as well. So what inspires you to write, like for this film, what inspired you to, to take on this topic and to just so delve in this? So the uh, writer, director, mm -hmm. editor is Paul Osborne. Okay. I mean, the man that wears all the hats. <laughs> and I think he talks about, I've heard him talk about the fact that he, str he struggles with this. I mean, kind of we yeah. all do. Yes. And so he he's the one that came up with it. Okay. And I actually came on after they did the table read. Oh, wow. And the producer that they had, there were two of us, Leslie yeah. Osborne, the other producer, but the other producer they had had to drop out because Ooh. of an illness in his family. And so I dove in yes. after the table read, and it was just like all guns blazing and yeah. so just had to go 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 that's perfect okay so where can we check this out at it's at the celebration cinema tomorrow okay. in mount pleasant i know there are a lot yes. in the area so it's in mount pleasant at 9 30 p.m okay so you know what your hometown gal you're yeah. from mount pleasant cmu grid what is it that you would tell other people about you know just going after your dream because this is a dream of yours to, to be involved with us absolutely i would say that i think anybody that has a dream has to like make the time for it. I think it's so easy for us to say, oh, I'm gonna put it off, or oh, I'll do it later, or oh, maybe this could never happen. Right. And you just have to do it. You do. And just do it every day. Do mm -hmm. something toward it every day, and you'll get there. And you might even find something you are more interested in. I always wanted to act, and in the end, I worked in rock and roll for a while, yeah. a long time, and I sort of learned all the techniques or tools techniques to produce <laughs> that's awesome. and I like it I like yeah. checking things off and right. getting things done and so it's really satisfying and now look at you in Hollywood so <laughs> this it paid Hollywood. off <laughs> hard work pays off we will have all the information on the film festival and all about flora I love this fluorescent beast on our website wdm.com thank you so much for joining us congratulations thank you. thank you so much of course you're welcome if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see on our show you can send them to us at wnem dash 4 p.m news at wnem.com just use the subject 4 p.m news spotlight